everyone. Happy Tuesday. We are getting ready to groom some doggies here. I just got done blow drying Mozzie. They're getting, uh, I know some people keep their dogs longer, but mine are getting a little shaggy. So we're going to give them a um, summer cut. I'm going to use a number 10 blade um, all over. I'm not using any other uh, blades. I'm just using a straight 10 blade um, for their whole body. So um, I'm going to get the shagginess off you. Some people probably don't think Milo shaggy or Ma uh, Mozzie shaggy, but they're shaggy to me. <laughs> and it's easier, like I've said in other videos, it's easier for me to um, take care of six dogs and keep them from being matted if they're shaved down. Okay, I just saw the FedEx car. Uh, or truck pull up, so I better get off here so Mazzy don't jump off the table. I'll be right back. Okay, avoided that. <laughs> I, was, I saw the FedEx truck pull up and I thought, oh my goodness, yeah, he's gonna see that guy out the window come into the door and jump off the table <laughs> while I'm videotaping. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know, I've had a lot of questions about grooming since a lot of states, um, dog groomers are not allowed to be open right now, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but um, because dog grooming is essential to a pet's, uh, to your dog's health too. Some dogs, if they get overgrown, it really affects their health. So anyways, not going to go into all that, but I wanted to let you guys know if you're new viewers or do not know, I do have a grooming playlist. Um, I'll link it down below. Um, but also some people say they can't get to the description box. So if you go to my YouTube page, it sh there should be somewhere on there that says playlist. Click on playlist and then go to, I think I labeled them grooming your schnauzer, schnauzer grooming. I'm not sure. But in that playlist, I also have, um, I believe, a video talking about which tools I use as well and products. So, because um, a lot of people have been asking what clippers and things like that I use. So if you click on that playlist that should answer all your questions and if you still have any other ones you can leave them in the comments below so I'm gonna get to grooming I do need to make an update video um, of grooming but um, I don't think I'm going to this grooming session I'm hoping to get three dogs done today and three dogs three dogs done tomorrow so I can be done because um, I want to enjoy it's been cold the past couple days and some nice weather's coming up and I want to be able to go out if it's sunny and sit in the Sun a little bit <laughs> get some sun on my face so I'm trying to get this done while it's still a little chilly it's been in the 20s at night we actually had a little bit of snow a little bit of snow in May <laughs> it was a little crazy seeing snowflakes but um anyways yeah so check that playlist out if you're thinking about attempting um to groom your dog um if your dog groomers are still not allowed to open in your state they are still not allowed to open here and I think it's ridiculous um, because they can do just like vets, meet you out to your car, take the dog in. You don't even have to come in contact with anyone. Um, and I said I wasn't going to go there, but sorry I did. <laughs> I think some of these restrictions are a little ridiculous. So, um, even if you just trim up their eyes, trim up the butt hairs, um, stuff like that so they can see, so they don't get poop in the hair around their butts. Um, it's really not that hard to do, um. Unless your dog is a wiggle butt, unless your dog just really hates grooming, even if they go to the groomers, um, you may have a um, issue there. Or maybe you have to get a sedative for your dog, um, something just to kind of calm them down so they just lay there and you can trim them up a little bit. Um, I was scared to trim nails. I know a lot of people are saying um, their dog's nails are ridiculously long. Um, it's really, it, I was scared too, but if you watch some videos on it, and learn when you're clipping the nail when to start seeing the signs of the quick. Um, it's really not that hard. So um, I know it's easier said than done, right? Easier said than done because a lot of dogs don't like their nails clipped. But um, anyways, um, just thought I'd give you a little bit of words of encouragement if you're thinking about trying it. It's really not that hard. Um, and there's also stuff, if you're going to attempt to do the toenails, there's stuff called septic Stip or styptic powder, um, have that too. Um, if you are gonna attempt it, because you just put that powder right on. If you do hit the quick, dip their nail in that powder, and it'll stop the bleeding. Um, 
So make sure you have that too if you're thinking about getting some toenail trimmers and trimming your dog's nails. Okay, I will be back after I... Miggy, why are you licking Milo's face? <laughs> See him over there? He's giving Milo kisses. <laughs> um, I'll be back to give you an update on Max after I'm done grooming Mozzie. All right, we're taking a break. <laughs> I just shaved down Mozzie's whole body and oh my goodness, it was like shaving a sheep. <laughs> oh, he hates, he hates getting groomed. I figured I'd do him first. Yeah, no barking, someone complained. Hey, Miggy, someone, someone complained about you barking. We can't bark in this video. Um, So yeah, I got him all. Let's see if I can get him to stop running around. I gotta come out and clean up landmines while I'm giving him a break. Yeah, his body's all shaved down. So, update on Max. Max is doing a ton better. Oh, Mozzie's taking a poop. Let's see, let's go this way. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't show him pooping. Magnum, you stay away from his poop. Um, do your dogs do ballerina kicks after they poop? <laughs> Mozzie's really into the ballerina. No, no, you boys get away from his poop. Go on. Um... Yeah, so Max is doing really good, really good. Um, I've got a call today and get um, the next two weeks. Come on, Milo. Um, two more weeks of antibiotics, but he's doing so much better. He's not um, hiking his leg up like he was, kicking it back. If you guys saw that one video I shared when it first started happening, he hasn't been doing that for the past couple days, so that's good. Um, so got a call like I said and get some more antibiotic for him um, I'm so happy oh I wanted to show you guys what I was using to do his foot bath I found something at PetSmart um, so I didn't have to stick him in the sink and make him stand in there forever so I'll have to show you that when I go back inside okay I'm gonna get to cleaning up these landmines let the boys enjoy the sunshine a little and then I gotta finish Mozzie up I'll be right back I wanted to jump on real quick too and say thank you to Emily for my Schnauzer mom hat. I really appreciate it. I was actually at the store the other day looking for some hats because my roots are getting terribly long and hairdressers um, are not open as well as dog groomers. So yes, my hair is looking pretty ridiculous and I was like, I need some new hats. And then lo and behold, Emily hooked me up with a nice new hat and I love it. Thank you so much. And thank you for the gift from Max too. I really appreciate it. I'm in my grooming jacket right now. <laughs> yes. Yes, Miggy. Miggy. I said somebody complained about your barking. <laughs> there's no way, and like I told the person, there's no way I own six dogs. I'm not going to keep them from barking in a video. Um, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> so I apologize if it drives you nuts. It drives me nuts sometimes too, so yeah. Okay, I gotta get back in and get Mozzie finished up so I can eat lunch and then get on to the other two. All right, we're done grooming Mozzie. He's all done. I just ate some lunch, and now we got to get to grooming Magnum. Yes, grooming Magnum. And then we got to groom you, Milo. Yes, we got to groom you. Those are the three I'm going to attempt to get done today. So he's all done, but my husband, we were outside, and my husband was petting him and found a lump on his back left leg. And it doesn't feel like the other fatty cysts he has. Um, he has one on his side, and he's had them before, but we had them removed when they um, cleaned his teeth. Um, it, it feels a little different. It feels like it's actually, it, it feels like it's connected to the muscle in the leg. I'm not sure. So he has an appointment. He already had an appointment at the Animal Surgical Center for some blood work for next week on Tuesday. So I called, when I called to get Max's two more weeks of Clavamox, since he's doing well on that and 
his foot seems to be, I don't want to say 100%, um, 90% better. Um, I got to pick that up. So I asked them about seeing if someone could look at his leg when we come in for his blood work. So we go in Tuesday at 10 a.m. and they're going to have somebody check that out. So I know it's probably not as good if it's connected to the muscle, but I'm not going to Google it. I don't want a bunch of horror stories in the comments, please. That'll make me worry. Um, but it is concerning to me, and we're getting that checked out Tuesday. Always something, isn't it? It's always something when you got six dogs. <laughs> There's always something going on. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you to Robert and Debbie for the chuck it balls that they sent for the boys. Um, they love this one here that looks like a donut. They love that one there, so thank you. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Judy. And let me look here. I don't want to show address in Iowa. Thank you so much for your note and gift for the boys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I turned on the camera and started talking. He's bringing me a ball. At least you're not barking. At least you're not barking. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm going to get going. And um, we will see you guys again soon. Don't forget, I have a grooming playlist if you're thinking about trying to groom your um, dogs. So check that out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Sorry, guys. I almost forgot to show you what I use um, to soak Max's paw. I found this. It's supposed to, like, be used to wash their feet. Like, if they're outside and muddy, you fill it up with a little bit of soapy water. And then you stick their paw in there kind of squish it around. I think that's kind of <laughs> kind of a ridiculous thing, but I remember seeing it at PetSmart um before and when I had him sitting in the sink, I thought there's got to be a better way cuz I I've been soaking his foot for like 20 25 minutes and I thought this is a long time for him to stand here with his foot bothering him. So Dogs are outside, if you're wondering <laughs> why you don't see them in here. Um, they just ate their lunch, and they're outside. But So I was thinking, how could I just do one foot? <laughs> and I remember seeing this, and I thought, that may work out. So I filled this up to about, um, about an inch under where it says top paw with some Epsom salt and warm water, let it dissolve. And then I kind of sit him on the couch to where... I lay him down and I kind of have his um, leg kind of hanging off the couch. And then I stick his paw in there because you can't do this when he's laying down. It's going to come out. Um, so if I have his leg kind of hanging from the couch out in the other room is where I usually do it. I just stick this right on there and hold it. And then he just lays there and relaxes. And I watch TV or mess on my phone while his foot so soaks in there. So it's more comfortable comfortable for him and comfortable for me. Now, when I bought this, um, it was on clearance for, I think it was $14, maybe $14.97. I can't remember. So if you're thinking about having one of these at home, just in case, um, uh, that you may need it to have to do a foot soak or something on your dog, you may want to pick one up. They may have them in other brands. I don't know that you, maybe you can get them on Amazon. Um, but this one at PetSmart is on clearance, so I'm assuming they're getting rid of them. Um, or you could use it to wash your dog's feet. You just And it comes with a towel. It comes with a microfiber towel, too, to wipe their feet off after you put it inside here uh, if their feet are dirty. But if you have a dog with allergies um, and you're trying to get the pollen off their feet this would probably this would probably be a good thing just stick their paw in there so push put their push their paw around get the pollen off take it out and wipe it it's not a bad idea I guess um maybe I shouldn't uh <laughs> put it down but this may be good now for six dogs no and that's probably why I'm thinking of thinking of it that way because six dogs this would take forever um but for one dog it, it is a good idea so check it out guys all right just wanted to get back on and share that with you. I totally forgot about it. Bye.